Hey, what's going on guys, it's Jay here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some uh, tips and tricks for the RGE mechanic in BRM5 for uh, private server owners and uh, for free-to-play owners, I guess, because you can access this on free-to-play servers, which is kind of kind of cool, I guess. So let's get into it. So if you go outside and, you know, you can set spawns and everything to fast travel, but uh, here's tip one, fast travel. So you want to go to the asset browser and you want to find like an object that's kind of small. I usually use outpost, no, uh, no, no, blah, blah, where's it at? Misc blue barrel, right? And if you hold this to your character, oh, does it do something to him? And with proper positioning, you can actually like make yourself move properly. It's very finicky, but as you can see, I no hands on the keyboard. I'm traveling way faster than what it would be to like set spawn somewhere. So I'm just traveling there. If, if like, say you're not going like super far across the map, because then it is faster to set your spawn. But say I'm just going to the, um, going to the quarry or something like that. So we're gonna move this down, move this up a little bit and try to get myself to go up a little more. Oh, okay, I'm dying. And you can actually cancel your parachute too. It's very buggy, of course, but that is something you can do. You can troll your friends with that if you wanted to. Be like, oh, look, I'm flying. There's a blue barrel on me. Don't just ignore that. Whatever. Uh, here's just like basic, basic uh, controls that you can do. So let's say you want, um, you just want to delete the barrel. You click on it. Click delete. Let's say you want more bricks. You're gonna click on it. Hold Control D. Click D, and then you're gonna drag it out, and then you like you can click R to rotate it as well. Um, that's how you get more, and you can actually uh, click on something, hold down Control, and then click again to highlight all of it. Click D again, and then there you go. There's even more bricks right there. So you can just move those back towards these things and make them look kind of good if you wanted to. Um, the same thing applies with uh, the console here. You can actually, um, <clears throat> you can move something in a very precise way, which is tip three here. It's like building stuff. If you are a map designer, like I am, you want to like make stuff as good as you can. So you're going to click on something and you see all these coordinates down here. If it's the only one in the server, you're going to copy this right here, okay? You're going to copy the ID of it. You're going to type in move one for the world number. Copy and paste the string in. Um, and then you see down here these coordinates right here. You're going to get rid of all the extra numbers there. You don't necessarily need them for the item. So you're just going to do negative uh, 3958, 65, 817, and then rotation. We're going to do 0, 0, 0. Now that moves it to the precise location without all the decibel decimals points in it as well. So be careful whenever you're clicking on objects as well. Always click on like the corner here. Don't click on the middle of it because if you click on the middle of it, you see you, you start moving it and that's not what we want because then it starts to look bad. So now we can click in the corner here, click control D and we're gonna drag this out to like be perfect right here. And you'll see down there on the number pad um, is kind of rough a little bit. So that's why we're just gonna do this here we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna go up to our other one that we had here and we're gonna delete all of this out right here. 3975 on this one now. So we're gonna go and change that and then copy and paste the new items code in and there it's a little bit more precise. So it does clip a little bit. You can prevent that by just doing it manually, of course. But if you want it to be exactly on like the actual points in game, not using any decimals, then you can use the console for moving objects. You just have to get the ID. But this works especially well for using these big objects to create maps right here. Okay, we're gonna do world load sniper v runner, which is a game mode I made. Whoops, we're gonna load into world one. This is a game mode I made for us on stream. It's um, the snipers they sit up here on this right here. Uh, indicated by the spawn box here and then the runners they run from uh, point a over here which is this light bulb all the way up here to point b where they can start shooting at the snipers and you're not allowed to like shoot back at all but you see there's a there's some cover and everything so it's literally a it's a really good game mode in my opinion and we're definitely gonna try it out on stream next time i stream i don't know when that will be potentially thursday i'm not sure or tomorrow for you all i guess but we're just gonna go ahead and go squat spawn uh, that red and I'm gonna like just kind of walk through how this works right here you can create so much so many things in this game that were not possible without the RG so it's really cool I, I know I'm spending a lot of time on tip 3 here but tip 3 is really sick because you can do a lot of stuff with like just basic controls so this is another map uh, very not finished by the way I placed all these down just for testing purposes and having this here too kind of messes with the flow of it, but whatever. So basically you have four spawns. So you go spawn one, spawn two, spawn three, spawn four. And you're fighting for this area in the middle of the flag. That's basically it. 
You got some really cool like upper up areas here. Of course, this is not finished as you guys can tell. This area is finished. It's very like congealed and looks awful, but once you play it, it's really fun. But this is all placeholder stuff for now. I'm gonna start building up onto these things and let people actually go up and have some evolution to it. So it's pretty cool. And from a top-down view, it looks awful, but so tip four is basically just all the console commands you can really use. So you can just type in your first like first the letter and you'll see it like if you type in world, you got um you got a HUD, you can like permanent disable the HUD. Like there's a lot of stuff in game modes. There's a friendly fire, there is a revive disable, which you'll see in a second. Um, there's first person lock, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people have questions about world saving, so let's go ahead and get into that. So let's do like world load, or I, I won't load anything. I'll actually build something real quick. So give me like 2.5, guys. So let's say you're you are your name is Generator Man, and you just love generators. You love how bright they are and how yellow they are. So let's say you just build that mess over there. And you love Generator World in real life. Your parents used to take you to Generator World all the time. And you're like, I want to make it BRM5. I don't know why. That place got shut down like 10 years ago. It's pretty bad. But let's say you like this stuff. You like Generator World over here. You're like, whoa, this is really sick. I love Generator World. Look how blind I am right now. So you're going to click over at the console. You're going to type in to save this. This is how you save worlds. World save. And then you're going to give it a number. I always do one. You can do like anything above zero would work. I'm going to do one. And then name it something you can rem remember. So generator world. Now you have world one is generator world. So if you ever want to load that in again and recreate generator world and you want to keep building onto it, you're going to do world load um, generator world. And then the world number that you have it on, which is one. So now it gets infinitely brighter here. And guess what? You can just keep doing that until you can't see a thing in here. <laughs> so you can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, you can also delete worlds that you don't want. You can view the whole list. You can click world list. And you see I have a bunch of maps on here. So let's say I don't want generator world anymore. So you're going to do world delete generator world. And then generator world was ne is never there again. So now if you try world load generator world 1. It does not exist. So be careful, guys. Just be careful with what you have, delete, and everything like that. Um, the whole setting spawns and everything. I can go over that real quick if you didn't catch that earlier. So let's say we want this helicopter light to be my spawn. Um, you do squat spawn, paste it in, and then make sure you delete these commas. And that's, that's now red spawn right there. So now let's just switch to red team and get away from generator world. God bless. It is awful. I told him it was a mistake building it, but now you spawn it here if you're on red team and you get a good view of generator world and you're like, mom, let's go. Let's go to generator world. You can lock the server so people cannot join. If you want to just undo that, you do disable. Most of the commands are enable, disable, so you type in whatever it is. You can do uh, squat, squat changing. That's a pretty useful one. Uh, if you're doing like a 25 to 25 game mode on a stream and you don't want people like, you know, mess with your stuff. Or if you're doing like manhunt, hide and seek, um, Anything really like that, uh, that's pretty good for that stuff right there. Uh, compounds disable, uh, friendly, fire, all. You can do like free for all stuff. You can also do kick players. So player strength, so like let's kick me. Does that work? Can I kick server owner? Yeah, okay. That'd be funny. You can also do respawn uh, all if you want to respawn everybody at their, at their spots. So I'm now here. It's kind of cool. And then my, I think my final RG tip for today is like, this is something that people really do a lot. And this has to do with the building thing again. I know it's very like building focused, but that's kind of what this is. So we're going to change it down to like 1.5 speed here. We're just going to sit right here and click P. Now you can see all the enemies here. You can see like where they're at. So like we got this guy here. Animations are sick by the way. So dub. So, but let's say we don't just want one enemy out here in the front. So we just go to, uh, go to the bots list here. And we're just going to go to bots and um, POD. We're just we're, we're going to put a sniper out here. Because we really want it to be a challenge. So we're going to put a P, uh, sniper here. And we're going to give this guy some more basic basic dudes here. And maybe like an advanced guy here. And then like another basic behind him just to hold cover. And then let's do like another sniper up here towards this like aircon. 
It's like this automatically, just adding these five little dudes here, um, this automatically just raises the uh, difficulty of raiding this base like tenfold because I can't see that guy, number one. There he is. Yeah, so I mean, this automatically raises the stuff and like, see, they're just pushing me and I'm dead. So um, that's pretty rough. If you want your stuff in like, fa like this is mainly for like faction owners, I suppose. Oh, these guys do not reset, by the way. The guys you place down, they do not reset to their original positions, by the way. So that is going to be something you have to keep in mind so you don't want to spawn camp yourself. If you don't want to like, if you want to make it balanced, you need to be careful. But that's basically it, guys. So we went through um, just general tips, map building, faction stuff, um, commands, and just a few other things. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If I left anything out, please let somebody else know in the comments. Like, you guys can help me with this, of course, because... I can't cover everything in like just a video. So if I miss anything and people are wondering in the comments below, go ahead and let them know. You guys feel free. This is a community video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.